Patrice Andres went missing from her beauty shop in Forsyth County, Georgia, nearly 20 years ago. She was last seen around 11.30 a.m. on April 15, 2004, and was reported missing shortly after noon. The investigation revealed that money had been stolen from her shop. Interestingly, her lunch was left untouched. Her car keys were still on the scene, but her vehicle had been moved from where it was usually parked. It doesn't stop there. In 2004, Alonzo Brooks met a mysterious and suspicious death while attending a party at a secluded farmhouse in rural Kansas. Four years later, on April 6, 2008, the lifeless body of Jim Barrier, a well-known Las Vegas wrestling promoter and local celebrity, was discovered at a Motel 6 on Boulder Highway in Las Vegas. Welcome to the channel everyone. In today's video, we will explore the strange disappearances of three individuals who vanished under baffling circumstances without raising any suspicion. If you're curious about their stories, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Brace yourselves as the information I'm about to share will send shivers down your spine. Now, let's get into the video. In 2004, a 38-year-old hairdresser named Patrice Andres disappeared from her beauty shop in Cumming, Georgia. Her remains were discovered on December 6, 2005 in Dawson County. It's a real mystery because there are a few potential suspects in her death, including her husband Rob and two notorious serial killers, Jeremy Jones and Gary Hilton. But even with all these leads, the case still remains unsolved. Patrice had a son named Pistol, who was in the 10th grade at the time of her vanishing. They argued that morning because he hurried to get to school and see his girlfriend. Patrice dropped him off, told him she loved him, and said she'd see him later. Unfortunately, that was the last time they ever spoke. Later that day, Pistol was called to the office at school. He was asked if he had talked to his mother, and when he said no, they tried calling her, but there was no answer which was unusual because she would always call back if she missed a call. That's when Pistol knew something was wrong. Patrice was such a massive part of Pistol's life. She was always there for his meets and games and wanted him to be happy. He remembers her passion for cutting hair and making people look beautiful. When he was a teenager, she always encouraged him to try different hairstyles and colors. She worked hard in other shops before opening her own. It's a heartbreaking story and still a mystery after all these years. Patrice had finally achieved her dream of opening her own shop. She built a successful business with a loyal customer base. Her friend Nancy remembers how fun and positive Patrice was. She always made others feel special and her shop meant the world to her. It was her pride and joy and her husband Rob helped her get it off of the ground. Rob and Patrice met when he was 50 and she was 30. He went to the shop where she rented a chair and they fell in love. They got married in 1997 and were together for seven happy years. Rob says the community and Patrice's customers loved her. After getting their hair done, people would stay for hours just to visit with her. When Anne, a close friend of Patrice's, arrived at her shop, she saw police cars surrounding it. The police had received a 911 call from a customer who found the salon empty. Inside, they found the cash register open and money was missing. Patrice's purse and car keys were on the counter and it seemed like she had been about to warm up her lunch. There were no signs of a struggle at the scene. It's a puzzling and unsettling situation, and the mystery of Patrice's disappearance continues to haunt those who knew and loved her. Her lunch was left untouched on the counter, and the cash register remained open. It's like she walked out of the front door and just kept going, Pistol would say in a later interview with police. Witnesses reported seeing a blue car parked in the driveway, possibly a Chevy Lumina or Ford Taurus. They saw a man and a woman struggling in the front seats. Despite extensive efforts, the investigation hit frustrating dead ends. Up until now, no one has been charged with her murder. However, the episode of Unsolved Mysteries presents several prevailing theories. Let's dive into some theories and solve Patrice's bizarre murder. One prevailing theory is that serial killer Gary Hilton killed Patrice Endres. Hilton, also known as the National Forest Serial Killer, was convicted for the murders of four hikers between 2005 and 2008. Georgia investigators suspect that Hilton may be responsible for Andres' death due to similarities in his modus operandi. He targeted people for opportunities and frequented places like hair salons where Andres worked. But no alibi has been found for Hilton on the day of Andres' disappearance. Another theory involves Jeremy Jones, a suspected serial killer. Jones confessed to multiple murders, including possibly Andres's, while speaking to Alabama investigators. He claimed to have forced a woman from a hair salon to help him jumpstart his car. However, he would later retracted his confession, stating that he had made it up for personal benefit. Still, investigators believe that Jones may know things only the killer would know, making him a potential suspect. 
Suspicion would also fall on Andres's second husband, Rob, who her loved ones believe may be involved in her murder. Rob's behavior, such as sleeping with her ashes and carrying around her skull, raised concerns among viewers and Andres's friends. According to her son, Pistol, Andres wanted to divorce Rob, describing him as jealous. Plus, Rob's strange behavior after her disappearance, including changing the locks and denying access to their home, adds to the suspicion. These theories, if combined, paint a complex and mysterious picture surrounding Andres's murder. Special Agent Mitchell Posey provides insight into the Patrice Andres investigation, highlighting certain aspects that cannot be disclosed. These undisclosed details are considered guilty knowledge information, known only by the person responsible for Patrice's fate and the investigators who possess comprehensive knowledge of the case. We must ensure that there are no false confessions. We are committed to providing the family with a sense of closure. Authorities remain optimistic about finding clues hiding out there, holding the potential to provide the breakthrough needed to solve the case that has remained unsolved for years. What a truly baffling mystery this is. After all these years and all the time spent on the investigation, Patrice André still waits for the justice she deserves. Now, let's dig into the theories of another victim. Jim Barrier also known as Buffalo Jim, was a well-known and colorful character in Las Vegas. He had various roles in the community, including being a wrestler, promoter, political candidate, owner of an auto repair shop, and a cable TV personality. However, his life took a tragic turn when he was found dead in a hotel room in 2008. The circumstances surrounding his death are the subject of an episode titled Death in a Vegas Motel Room in Netflix's Unsolved Mysteries Volume 3. According to the official autopsy report, Buffalo Jim had a lethal amount of cocaine in his system. Local police concluded that his death was an overdose, attributing it to a combination of heart disease and drug intoxication. However, his daughters vehemently deny that he was a drug user, casting doubt on the official ruling. They firmly believe that their father was the victim of foul play. The family questions the circumstances surrounding his death and raises doubts about the investigation conducted by the local police. While the exact truth about how Buffalo Jim died remains uncertain, the Netflix episode aims to shed light on the case and encourage further investigation. By raising awareness and presenting alternative theories, it is hoped that new information may come to light, bringing justice and closure to Buffalo Jim's family and loved ones. Buffalo Jim's case remains shrouded in mystery. Theories have emerged surrounding Buffalo Jim's disappearance. One theory suggests that he may have encountered foul play. As a colorful personality involved in the Bigfoot community, some speculate that his disappearance could be connected to his passion for seeking out the mythical creature. It is possible that someone with ill intentions targeted him. One theory involves the possibility that Buffalo Jim may have staged his disappearance. Some believe he could have wanted to escape his daily pressures or start fresh elsewhere. However, this theory remains purely speculative without concrete evidence or sightings. It also highlights a potential connection between Buffalo Jim's disappearance and the mysterious deaths of two other Bigfoot enthusiasts in the same area. These deaths occurred in the years following Buffalo Jim's disappearance, leading to speculation that there may be a sinister force at play targeting individuals involved in the Bigfoot community. While the exact circumstances surrounding Buffalo Jim's vanishing remain unknown, the episode encourages viewers to come forward with any tips or information to help solve the case. New leads may emerge with the audience's help, illuminating what happened to Buffalo Jim. Another interesting detail that suggests the possibility of foul play in Jim Barrier's death is the discovery of a folded $1 bill in his back pocket. Barrier's daughters interpret this as a potential calling card for a mob hit, which adds an intriguing twist to the case. However, it should be noted that online research conducted by Stylecaster did not uncover any concrete evidence to support this theory. In addition to the mysterious dollar bill, another puzzling aspect of Barrier's death is the whereabouts of his Rolls Royce. When his body was found, the keys to the luxury vehicle were with him. However, the car was not in the Motel 6 parking lot where he was staying. This raised concerns for Barrier's family, who pressed the police for information. Eventually, the car was miraculously found in a parking lot, but in an area that had already been searched. Furthermore, upon inspection, there were signs that the car had been cleaned, adding a layer of mystery to the circumstances surrounding Buffalo Jim's death. The allure of mysteries is undeniably captivating. We are drawn to the unexplained, filled with a strange sense of hope 
that we might be the ones to unravel the truth behind these perplexing cases. Inspired by the Netflix series Unsolved Mysteries, this channel delves into these intriguing cases, including shocking murders and paranormal encounters, presenting them in a gripping written format. Now, before we move ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more mysterious stories. Now, let's get into the final story. Alonzo Brooks, a 23-year-old resident of Gardner, Kansas, went missing after attending a party in La Cina. Tragically, a month later, his body was discovered in a nearby creek. For the past 19 years, there have been no arrests, charges, or answers regarding what happened to Brooks. In 2019, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Kansas and the FBI decided to reopen the investigation into Brooks's death, which had remained inactive for years. The circumstances surrounding his disappearance and subsequent death raised concerns and warranted a fresh look into the case. According to statements from friends, Brooks attended a party at a house on the outskirts of La Cina with a group of friends. Out of the more than 100 attendees, he was one of only three African-American men. After his friends left the party, Brooks was left without a ride home. When Brooks did not return home the following day, his friends and family contacted the Lynn County Sheriff's Office to report him missing. Despite extensive searches conducted by multiple law enforcement agencies surrounding the farmhouse in Middle Creek, Brooks could not be found. Ultimately, it was the collective effort of his loved ones that led to the discovery of Brooks' body. Organizing a search, they found him partially on top of brush and a pile of branches in the creek within an hour of searching. However, the cause of Brooks's death could not be determined by the Lynn County coroner at the time. His case gained national attention when featured in an Unsolved Mysteries episode in 2020. Here's everything we know about Alonzo's disappearance and the new theories explored. On the night of April 3rd, 2004, Alonzo attended a party at a rural farmhouse in La Cine, Kansas, with a group of friends. White individuals predominantly participated in the party, and Alonzo stood out as one of the few African Americans present. Witnesses reported that tensions were high throughout the evening, with Alonzo allegedly receiving racially motivated comments and even being involved in a physical altercation with some partygoers. Alonzo's friends left the party early, assuming he would get a ride home with the others in his friend group. However, when they returned the next day to pick him up, Alonzo was nowhere to be found. Concerned for his safety, Alonzo's family reported him missing, and a search operation was initiated. Months later, Alonzo's body was discovered in a creek bed near a location that had been previously searched. His death was ruled as undetermined by the coroner, leaving many questions unanswered. One theory suggests that Alonzo may have fallen victim to a hate crime. Given the racial tensions reported at the party, it is possible that someone at the gathering targeted him due to his race. However, this theory remains speculative without concrete evidence or witnesses coming forward. Another theory explored is that Alonzo's death was a result of accidental drowning. However, Alonzo's family contests this theory, and some investigators argue that foul play may have been involved. Questions about the initial investigation were raised, suggesting that it may have been mishandled or influenced by factors such as race. Some individuals who attended the party were later uncooperative or changed their stories, hindering the case's progress. Since the release of the Netflix episode, new leads and tips have emerged, prompting investigators to re-examine the case. The FBI has also reopened the investigation to uncover what happened to Alonzo Brooks. The goal of featuring Alonzo's case on Unsolved Mysteries was to generate public awareness and encourage individuals with information to come forward. Hopefully, the renewed attention and new theories explored in the episode will lead to answers and justice for Alonzo and his family. On May 1, 2004, 27 days after Alonzo Brooks went missing, his family decided to search the area near the house where the party had taken place. To their devastating discovery, they found Alonzo's body in plain sight by a creek close to the home. Strangely, his belongings were intact and undamaged by water. Despite an autopsy, the cause of his death remained undetermined. During this time, rumors circulated that his body had been preserved in a freezer while the police were still conducting their search. Terry Muir, co-creator of the original Unsolved Mysteries and executive producer of the Netflix reboot, highlighted the significance of the individuals at the party that night. Many of them were teenagers, some of whom were underage and involved in drinking. Now in their early 30s, Mirror believes that someone within that group holds the key to understanding what truly happened to Alonzo Brooks. The reopening of the Alonzo Brooks case brings renewed hope that those who were present at the party and may have information about his disappearance will come forward. 
With the passage of time and new perspectives, justice can be served, and the truth can finally be unveiled in this perplexing and tragic case. And that will conclude our video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. If you have a topic suggestion, please send it to the email in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.